So I've got uh, 0.6 of an hour left on the maintenance release, so she's in for her first 100 hourly. Get everything out for the 100 hourly. So, uh, yeah, so I've sort of packed everything in there all nice and tidy. Oh, there's a... Yeah, I did. That's the idea. Thanks for that. Yeah, no worries. So, the plane is uh, now empty. Robert, one of my carpet technicians, just walked past there and a fancy's walking up the road there, evidently his car's buggered or something. Didn't know about that, but uh, yeah, he's off uh, off to work, so that's great. And um, we're off to take this thing around the corner to Gulfstream Aviation. <laughs> So those two are a little bit lean, are they? Yeah, a bit of a lean. Yeah, right, eh? But um, they're borderline to be worn out. Borderline to be worn out? Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe we'll just get a whole new set of spark plugs. Well, bottom four anyway. The bottom four. So they're the leads. They unscrew the top of the spark plug. This is the part where you can tell whether I'll be managing the engine right. You can tell as many stories as you like, but this is where it comes down to the crunch. <laughs> nice. Slight ring glide by. Yeah, so when you push on the prop and you create the compression, it uh, makes uh, it so you're it's able to then read it. Push on top dead center properly. Yeah, right, eh? Cool. Compression's all good, which is a fantastic start for the 100 hourly. Nice to know. We removed the rudder, removed okay. the bottom hinge. Cool. We have to inspect the two bolt holes. Yep. Um, the cracks, we probably say that's right. Yeah. Cracked. And so we've die pinned it, there's no crack, so we've just primed it. Nice. And uh, so we can put all that back together. Oh. Uh, just slight corrosion around your screw holes on your panels, yep. which we like to clean up. Yep. Because it'll just um, keep going and get worse. And you got one there. Oh yeah. A couple of bits here. Yeah. And you got a couple of bits coming through here. Okay. And there, you know, we need to get onto them. Okay. Because um, I mean, there's not much there. Sure. But in a hundred hours time, there could be a lot more. Uh -huh. And there's not a good spot because that will start going through that skin into the next skin, and there's the spark cap. Yeah, right. Ah. Uh, if you look in here, and it's just up in the corner. Yeah. And we need to get into that, clean it up, prime it, so it we try and stop it in its tracks because that's okay. not a good area either. Tiny little spots, but yeah, but it's all okay so far. Yeah. And yeah, right. The little spots we're fine. Let's fix it. Yeah. So we don't have issues. Yeah. But I mean, we got uh, out of the eight spark plugs. Uh, three of them were unserviceable. Uh, so we ordered uh, in some new ones, and uh, and they'll be replaced. But uh, other than that, uh, these ones they look terrific. They came up really nice. And have a look at that. It's beautiful. Nice work. I'll stop drill all those things for now. But yeah, we're definitely in need of it. A bit of attention patches like that are required. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Mostly things like this crack. Yeah. And then wear there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So the timing, uh, so the timing's absolutely spot on. Is that right? Yep. Awesome. Right now, can you see the mark there? Oh yeah. See how that lines up on that dot? Yep. As both lights come on. Yep. So that tells you Beautiful. the timing's spot on. Awesome.
that's the engine air filter. Very important part of the engine, stops the air getting in, well, stops dirt getting into these cylinders, causing abnormal wear. This one is old, I'll get a new one, because the air, is, the dirt is built up in the filter due to the oil impregnated in the foam, so the air won't be able to get through as easily and it could take a chance of blocking yeah. up, so we'll get a new one. Yeah, it could run. has been removed and uh, they've uh, just painted up the panels so the 100 alley is coming along really really well and uh, yep they're getting through it and they're not really finding anything too too serious uh, in fact they're all very minor straightforward issues that need to be dealt with every hundred hours, which is fantastic, so it's awesome news. So far so good. That's the oil filter, all right. And then that's what the oil filter looks like uh, from the inside. So they pull it apart and then they can, uh, they can check the, uh, the filter if there's any anomalies that it's been filtering out. And with the oil, they they uh, they sent the actual sample of the oil out to get that exam examined uh, to see if there are any anomalies uh, in the oil. Uh, obviously, it's a good idea to do that um, because it will indicate uh, whether there's a part on the engine uh, that may be wearing. Um, uh, so prior to uh, uh, a failure or catastrophic failure, you can uh, pick these things up just by merely uh, testing and make an examination of the of the oil so it's all pretty interesting and that'll be the other end oh okay that'll be the other end of the cap see you've got a can opener that's how it works Paul there at uh, a top flight uh, who details the aircraft here at Parafield Airport is uh, working on the Tomahawk so the whole aircraft has been uh, polished with a uh, with a buff and a, a very light cut. Put a wax on it to protect the paint so it doesn't doesn't fade in this harsh summer that we're going to be having. So now that looks pretty good. So we've done the hundred alley and. Everything went really, really well. Uh, so uh, I'll take it out for a couple of circuits, for a few circuits, and um, and tuck it back in the hangar. <laughs>